I hate this snow. I don't want to see it anymore. And it really keeps us back from what we love to do. The winter blasts just keep on coming and some people are getting pretty fed up. I really don't like the snow. It's really hard to get around. It's not like fun anymore. It's just too much. Besides being inconvenient, the snow and ice can be downright dangerous. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. Kenneth Levitsky right. says injuries to the ankle back, and wrist everybody. are common. And the reason that we see them is because people slip and fall, twist their ankles, and when they fall, they land on their outstretched arms and very commonly break their wrists. Dr. Levitsky says that appropriate footwear is the best way to avoid taking a tumble. That is a boot or a shoe that has a non-slip tread, a wide, deep tread, something that would avoid a quick slip out. But slips on the ice aren't the only pitfalls. The American Academy of Orthopedic Surgery reports that in 2008, 70,000 people were treated for snow shoveling injuries, mostly to the discs and ligaments in the lower back. Dr. Levitsky says there's a few things to keep in mind if you want to avoid a shoveling injury. He tells patients to dress in layers and stretch their hip and leg muscles thoroughly. And then there's proper technique. Keep your back straight and lift with your legs. Take a small amount of snow, keep the hands spread wide apart, and then when throwing the snow, avoiding twisting the body this way and pivoting the whole body on the foot, or at, at best, throwing it in a linear direction that way so that you don't twist your spine. But we're not just dealing with slips and falls and back pain. All of this snow and ice can be a major inconvenience and produce a lot of stress. Psychiatrist Dr. Bruce Friedman says the wintry weather can bring worry and frustration. Somebody leaves their house in the morning, they start to wonder, will I slip and fall on the ice? Will my car be covered with ice that'll take me extra time? Will my train or bus run on time or delayed? But we can also learn to enjoy this weather by making the best of it and spending more time with our families. Dr. Friedman tells people to lower their expectations on snow days, get a little more reading done or talk to a loved one. And for parents? They should get their gear on, go outside and have fun. Play with the kids, get in the snow, have the snowball fight, build the snow tunnel in the snow cave, get very cold, get very wet and enjoy it. Yeah. Reporting for Ebru News, I'm Dr. Naomi Weinschenker.